Richard Long was a versatile and accomplished American actor, known for his significant contributions to both film and television in the mid-20th century. With his classic good looks and compelling screen presence, Long secured a variety of roles that showcased his extensive acting range and ability to adapt to different genres. He is perhaps best remembered for his roles in the television series The Big Valley and Nanny and the Professor, as well as for his participation in films like The Egg and I, where he portrayed Tom Kettle. Despite his successful career and the promise of a flourishing future in the entertainment industry, Richard Long's life was tragically cut short when he passed away at the young age of 47 on December 21, 1974, due to complications related to a severe lung condition. His untimely death left a void in the entertainment industry, but his legacy endures. Born on December 17, 1927, in Chicago, Richard Long grew up in a middle-class family and developed an interest in acting early on. Raised in various cities due to his father's work, he experienced different environments and people, enriching his perspective and understanding of characters. Long began his acting career in the late 1940s, discovered by a Universal International Talent Scout while in college. This led to a contract and his first film role in the 1946 movie Tomorrow is Forever, where he portrayed Drew, the adopted son of Claudette Colbert's character. Throughout his career, Long's acting talent spanned several decades, earning recognition for his roles in both film and television. Some highlights of his career include appearances in notable films such as The Stranger, 1946, Ma and Pa Kettle, 1949, and House on Haunted Hill, 1959. On television, he found success with roles in popular series like Bourbon Street Beat, 77 Sunset Strip, and The Big Valley, where he portrayed Jared Barkley alongside Barbara Stanwyck. Long's performances were well received by both audiences and critics, with his portrayal of diverse characters showcasing his range as an actor. His work in The Big Valley, in particular, earned him widespread acclaim for its depth and nuance. Despite his passing, Richard Long's legacy as a talented actor and versatile performer continues to be celebrated in the entertainment industry. Richard Long's role as Tom Kettle in the film The Egg and I was significant to the overall narrative, although it was more of a supporting role rather than a leading one. His character, part of the neighboring family, contributed to the dynamic of the story. Interestingly, the popularity of the characters Ma and Pa Kettle, portrayed by Marjorie Maine and Percy Kilbride, led to a spin-off series of films known as the Ma and Pa Kettle series, in which Richard Long also participated in four films. However, Long is perhaps best remembered for his portrayal of Jared Barkley in the television series The Big Valley, which aired from 1965 to 1969. In this series, Long played the role of the eldest son of the wealthy and influential Barkley family, set in the 19th century American West. Jared Barkley, a sophisticated and educated lawyer, provided a contrast to the rugged environment of the West. Long's portrayal of Jared was characterized by dignity and moral integrity, often serving as the voice of reason within the family. His performance added depth and complexity to the series, exploring themes of justice, family dynamics, and societal change in the aftermath of the Civil War. Long's influence on the show was substantial, with his character driving the plot forward through moral dilemmas and professional challenges. His interactions with other main characters, particularly Victoria Barclay, Barbara Stanwyck, and Heath Barclay, Lee Majors, highlighted the familial bonds and conflicts central to the series. The Big Valley remains one of Richard Long's most prominent roles, earning him widespread acclaim and recognition. The show's legacy extends beyond its original run as it continues to be appreciated by fans of classic television through syndication in various countries, allowing new generations of viewers to enjoy its compelling narratives and performances. After The Big Valley, Richard Long continued to work in the entertainment industry, albeit with his life and career tragically cut short by his untimely death in 1974. One of his notable post-Big Valley roles was in the TV series Nanny and the Professor, which aired from 1970 to 1971. 
In this series, Long portrayed Professor Harold Everett, a widowed father of three children who hires Phoebe Figalili, played by Juliet Mills, as a nanny. The show had a magical and comedic theme, with the nanny character possessing unexplained magical abilities. Long's performance in this series showcased his versatility as an actor, as he adeptly transitioned to a more comedic and light-hearted role. Additionally, Long made appearances in several films after The Big Valley, further demonstrating his acting range. However, his film roles were relatively limited compared to his television work during this period. Despite his passing, Richard Long's contributions to the entertainment industry continue to be recognized and appreciated by audiences and critics alike. In his personal life, Richard Long was married to actress and model Mara Corday, with whom he had three children, Carrie, Valerie, and Gregory. Corday, known for her roles in films such as Tarantula and The Giant Claw, shared a life in the entertainment industry with Long until his untimely death. Long battled health issues in his later years, suffering from a severe lung condition that ultimately led to complications such as pneumonia and heart failure, resulting in his premature passing just four days after his 47th birthday. His death was a significant loss to the entertainment industry, leaving behind a legacy of versatile acting skills and significant contributions to both film and television. Richard Long's roles in iconic series like The Big Valley and Nanny and The Professor, as well as his various film appearances, continue to be cherished by fans of classic cinema and television, ensuring that his memory lives on in the